Hello there, friends, and welcome or welcome back to the series where I'm completing an Animal Crossing island in 30 days. Just in case you're new around here, these are the rules we've laid out for this challenge. And with that, let's jump right into day 28 on Adelwood. Now, before we get into it, I gotta be frank with you guys. I made it about halfway through recording a first take of this video, and burnout hit me like a f***ing train. I got through decorating a little bit of these beaches, um, and I just can't. Like, it'd just be pulling teeth. I just cannot bring myself to decorate the rest of these beaches. There is one spot that I have an idea for, so I'm gonna show you guys the little bit that I managed to accomplish on these beaches, and then we're just gonna leave them. Like, they won't be accessible, you won't really be able to make it to the beaches, so we're just not gonna fool with it, okay? Now, the one big area that I managed to decorate is this little lookout spot because this is the spot that I had some inspiration for. Let me go ahead and try to show this one off for you guys. See? Yeah, like I'm really happy with this one. I pulled a lot of inspiration from the fact that like any lighthouses that I've seen in real life, which is not many to be fair, but they always are surrounded by like these rocks. So that's why I wanted to put the cave like backwards behind it back there to make it kind of look like it's on this rocky outcropping. Oh my gosh, and can I turn it on? Hold on, can I turn it on? No. Oh, okay, I thought it was an actual functioning lighthouse. Never mind. But I did work a little bit on back up this way. Like here is where I kind of started to lose steam. And then up here is really where I just gave up. Like, I've got jail bars up here. The thought was, like, this is the creepy abandoned part of the island. So maybe, like, these were bars from, like, a cage and something maybe broke out and escaped. But, yeah, that's all I got. And for the sake of finishing this island on a good note, I don't want to just, like, look at these beaches and think, man, I hated doing every second of this. So I simply don't want to push myself to that much of an extreme, you know? I would rather be like, hey, I decorated the parts of the beaches that I was excited about, and I left the rest of them. So that's what we're going to do on this channel. However, I do have a lot of inspiration to do something over here. And this is something I had kind of mentioned doing early on, but I didn't think I was going to get the chance to. I want to build a, like, port. I've got some of the uh, yacht items in here. So I would really like to try to put together like a little port sort of thing. So without further ado, I'm gonna throw you guys over to voiceover Ashley and we'll do this speed build style, I think. So yeah, you heard me. I am a little burnt out on all the Animal Crossing content right now, but I, I don't want that to be like this big red alarm, this like scary siren that's going off because like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing this literally like waking up first thing in the morning, having myself a cup of water and then recording at 9.30 in the morning, at 10.30 in the morning. And at points in the morning where my voice is so grady and like so sore that I sound awful and I have to come back later in the day and re-record my voiceovers, you know? Like that's, that has been my life for the past 30 days. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Like, this has been such a fulfilling experience just to see that... I And I told myself I was going to save all the sappy, sentimental stuff about the series for, like, the tour. But we'll touch on it a little bit here because, like, this has been such a rewarding experience. And, like, it's, it's hard to remind myself that even now when I'm, like, irritated and, like, caught up in the moment and very, like... Like, I just need to, I just need to push through it and get this video out and move on with my day and then I can get to the, like, whatever else I want to do with my evening. But, again, like, I would not have this any other way. All of the people that, like, all of you guys that I've gotten to meet and interact with in the comments, you know, and just seeing the impact that I've had on just everyday other people. Just you guys that have chosen to take time out of your day and spend time on this little journey with me where I'm completing my first Animal Crossing Island ever, even though I've had the game for five years now. Like, that's that's so meaningful. Like, more than I feel like my words can accurately describe just how meaningful that is. People have commented saying that I've they've shared their lunch breaks with me and just, like, their evenings, like, binge-watching the content. Someone mentioned that they've watched this series, like, multiple times already, and that is insane. <laughs> like, I've only lived it once, you know? How has someone else taken time out of their day to watch this more than once? 
And what spurred this realization for me was my friend sent me a video by Tommy in it. This video that like really hit home. Um, I'll throw it up here on screen and put it in a card. Like if you are at all interested in YouTube or even just consume it passively, wow, can I not recommend this video enough. The part that really hit home for me was he said that he's over the last many years of his career spent hours talking to like all of the biggest YouTubers that have ever been on the platform. People that I personally look up to a whole lot. People like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and MatPat and all of these people that have been such influences over the course of like, not just my YouTube journey, but like my whole life. <laughs> like I've been watching Markiplier's content literally since high school. Like that's, that's so much of my life that I've spent like watching these people grow on the platform. And in Tommy's video, he mentions that none of these people could retrace exactly how they got to where they did. They were just in the right place, at the right time, doing what they loved. And with this series sort of being my first introduction to like real YouTube, like I just mentioned the other day, like I'm on track to being monetized, which is insane. Like that's, that's a huge milestone. And I am very thankful that I've made it to this point so quickly, but in that rapid kind of succession, it's easy to get swept up in the numbers of it all in the like, technicalities of it all. And I'm starting to see firsthand just how easy it can be to lose yourself amongst all of that, amongst the algorithm, amongst the statistics, amongst the little green and red arrows telling you if your video was better or worse than all the other ones you've been putting out recently. But like, in the most serious way possible, none of that matters. Like, at the end of the day, I'm doing this because I want to do this. And I mean, if I make money off of it, if I like gain a bunch of notoriety or fame or whatever from it all, then that's great. And I get to reach more people and more people get to enjoy my content. But even if like I was to stop uploading tomorrow and this was all that I managed to accomplish in my time on YouTube, then that's still a pretty huge win in my opinion. But this whole monologue here really is just kind of a reminder to myself to take a step back after I've spent three hours going back and forth to Treasure Islands to get everything that I think I need to work on a build or spending 45 minutes of my afternoon and forcing myself to decorate beaches because that's what I think I need to be working on. That's what I tell myself I need to be doing. There is going to be no content out there that is more fulfilling or more successful than the content that I love to make and the content that I enjoy to record, that I enjoy the editing process of. Like, Yesterday's video, uh, day 27, literally that's the most fun I've had <laughs> editing a video since some of the early days on this channel. Like I felt that that video is maybe the funniest one out of the whole series that I've worked on so far. And it's like, if other people think that it is too, cool. If people think that's the least funny video I will ever create, cool. <laughs> like it was impactful to me, you know? So it doesn't really matter at the end of the day how successful it is if people agree with the work that I put in or not, because that's what made me feel good. I felt fulfilled in what I did. And, and at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. Now, I swear I didn't go into this video with the intention of going on a whole tirade, <laughs> having a whole monologue about all of my deep thoughts that have been occurring, but this is kind of what we've ended up with because I think that the whole experience serves as a really good learning opportunity you know, for myself, for, I know that a couple other people who are also Animal Crossing YouTubers and maybe just people that I don't even know are doing YouTube, you know, and are also watching me, are interested in the space. Um, I have to assume that if you're here, it's because you're at least somewhat interested in YouTube as a platform. I just felt like this was the right thing to talk about today and a learning experience for myself too. So now that all of that has been said and said and said and done, let me go ahead and share with you guys the final result of what's been playing in the background while I monologue. Now, I suppose since I spent absolutely zero time of the speed build talking about the build, I could share a little bit of my inspiration for this area. So, um, 
Obviously, I've said it a few times, but this area is really inspired by like the Northeast and like Maine specifically with the approach I've been taking to the beaches. And this area was specifically inspired by the little town of Agunquit. They have like this cute little cove sort of thing in the middle of the town. And that was the most stunning part of the whole town to me. I think about that a lot. So this was me kind of trying to channel that a little bit. And then my favorite part of this build actually ended up being this little canopy section. In my hometown, like whenever my brother and I were super young, my parents kept their boat at this like marina by a park, which actually kind of is referenced in the fact that the park is right behind where this cove is. The marina had like this little boathouse thing you could rent out for events and stuff. And I just, for whatever reason, was reminded of that today, being a little nostalgic. So that's where the inspiration for this particular spot comes from. The tone of today's episode was definitely a little bit more serious, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And hey, if you need a laugh after all of this, go rewatch Day 27. That one was great. That one was gold. I cannot wait to share with you guys the bloopers from that episode because one of my favorite clips, I didn't even get a chance to include. So look out for that. That'll be coming sometime in November. I don't know. I'm gonna take my time and really put my effort in to making that one really stand out, I think. But as always, if you made it to this point in the video, thank you. And if you feel so inclined, like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube jazz. But if not, thanks for just hanging out with me anyways. And I'm going to catch you guys in tomorrow's episode. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <clears throat> Bye. There it is. That's the one.